Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into, you guys? All right, well, welcome to Wobble Dogs. Oh my goodness, look at the little snout, hi! <laughs> This is a sandbox game where you can raise your own hive of mutated puppies. Alright, I don't know what you guys are getting me into, but y'all have been requesting this, especially in our Patreon Discord. And our patrons are often very fine connoisseurs of wonderful content, may I say. They suggest many of the games we end up really playing and loving. Uh, but this is a sandbox game where you can raise your own little hive of mutated pups, apparently. So. All I know about Wobble Dogs is that everyone keeps telling me to play it. The dogs are kind of like rectangles. Apparently, I mutate the DNA inside of their gut, and I think they lay eggs. That's right, I think these dogs lay eggs. Let's do this. Let's go over a few basic con concepts before we turn you loose. First, let's go ahead and get you a dog to play with. <gasps> oh, hello! Look at this, you can go ahead and bagel! Fresh dog! A fresh dog named Bagel. That is such a cute name. Welcome, Bagel. Congratulations on your new pup. Now that you've got a dog, let's learn about the dog storage screen. Doggy storage? Okay, so this is like, oh, I can put dogs in here, I guess. Great, this screen gives you an overview of all the dogs you own and lets you choose which ones are in the world at any given time. If a dog ever accidentally ends up being removed from the world, this is where it'll end up. Oh good, so it's basically like the rescue for my puppers. Being born is hungry work. Build a food dispenser and use it to feed your new pup. Oh, I can see down here, down on the left, like he's hungry. Okay, all right, so now we have a classic food dispenser. All right, all right, Woo! oh my, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it like right in the center here. And then we go back to play. Great! Your dog will try to feed itself, but you can click on the food and you can command your dog to eat it directly. You can also grab things uh, and drag them around. Oh good, okay. So let's try a nutritional pellet. Dogs love to munch on this nutritional pellet. There's also burritos and french fries. Huh. Wow, I wonder if that in, like impacts what kind of gut bacteria they have, maybe? Let's do a nutritional pellet. There you go, Bagel. <gasps> Bagel came and got his own nutritional pellet. Oh, Bagel's a young adult. Oh, look at this. Oh, looks like your dog's ready to puppate. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Click on them to bring up the context menu and press the pupate or puppate button. I'm gonna call it puppate because, you know, they're puppies. Also, if you, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we can move around. Wait, so our little science experiment puppers, I guess we're in the laboratory, my friends, just like in our Sims 4 crossbreed challenge series. Um, I wanna praise, I wanna go ahead and I wanna praise our little one first. It's a good puppers, you're, you're good little puppers, bagel. Just good puppers, there you are. All right, uh, pupate. What the heck? Bagel's, bagel's, bagel's in a cocoon. Oh my gosh, can I like, can I, can I pull bagel up? Oh my gosh. Bagel! You're in a cocoon! This is so weird. But y'all swear that this is like amazing. Alright, the cocoon is hatching. Bagel, you good? Whoa! A pupation complete! Mutations! Oh my gosh, so like I can change the colors of my dog, I guess, and how long his legs are. <gasps> can I make spotty dogs? You guys know how much I love spots and stuff like that. And I can change the colors? Cool! Is that through like crossbreeding and things? Well done! Dogs pupate several times through their lives. The foods they eat will influence their mutations. <gasps> now let's have you build an incubator. Incubators let you hatch fertilized dog eggs. What the heck? This is literally like the laboratory where questionable dubious ethics are being squiggled around, friends. All right, so we're gonna get an incubator here. Let's see, and we're gonna rotate it and we'll put it over here. Okay, let's go back to play. Great! Even though you don't own any fertilized dog eggs, the incubator will always let you hatch a dog with default genetics. Try this out! Alright, so default genetics would be like bagel, right? Okay. So we got a little egg. It's got a little egg timer. Okay. <gasps> Look at the puppy! We have a new little one that I'm gonna name Tiny! Two more things. When you're holding an object, oh, I don't want to delete the um, the doggy. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, but if you if you hold the puppy and then hit delete, then he'll just go to storage. That's good. 
Okay, we need to save. This game only auto saves when you travel to breeding mode. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so apparently we need to like play around and discover what we've got. I think I won a little, oh, hey, quick learner. <gasps> Randy, we've got a new dog named Randy. Oh, I wonder what we do there. This is, oh, gut flora, the gut flora field guide. So apparently, gather around, pixel biologist, because I think messing around with these, like, gut flora are how we mutate the dogs into different genetics. But uh, let's see. We've got Candidia neutralia, a standard flora found in nearly all dog-based life forms. And it does default coloring, I think. And then there's this one. So this is cryocilia. So flora found in cocoon dripping. So you know when like the cocoon hatched and the dog, like our, our wonderful bagel started licking that up. Apparently that gave him special gut flora from it, which is really amazing because look, this is gonna seem like a really random thing, but I read the book Fiber Fueled and I am 100% behind the amazingness of our own gut flora in real life. Look, I'm a, I'm a scientist and, and like I, at heart, I can be passionate about the wonders of gut flora. So this is actually really exciting for me. All right, and then this thing, so an artificially engineered flora that aims to encourage dog growth. So this is actually from the cubes, the pellets that we fed our puppers. And it looks like these, these little things encourage long legs and orange skin to be potential developments in our puppers. So if we wanna get more like orange skin and long legs, then I guess we can put out some treats. Tiny, I'm gonna give you a little praise. Tiny, do you wanna come eat? How do I, oh, Tiny, I'm just like throwing you around. I'm sorry, baby. Here, do you wanna eat this? Tiny, eat, eat. Oh, I'm sorry. Edible. Bagel, you wanna eat it? He, he was happy I was saying hello. Okay, Bagel doesn't, Bagel, do you wanna eat it? Oh, I, I, I think he's playing with it maybe. All right, I'm gonna get more food out. And then, oh look, you can clean up all of those drippings so that if you don't want them doing that, okay. Hey, sweet! So I cleaned up the puddle and we got um, Bud Puppy's ground ivy. I have ground ivy now, nice! And then digging a hole, <gasps> I can dig a hole? Okay, let's see how that works. All right, let's see. I can put down different floor styles now. Oh! I like this one because it looks like dirt. And then we've got different wallpapers. The blue is a little easier to look at. Toys, utilities, walls. Okay, build. Oh, can I, I can like build, build new rooms, huh? Okay, so this is a starting room. I think that's like a tube. Okay, I don't know how to build yet, so we'll be careful with that. Um, It looks like Bagel is still playing with the, the food pellet. But, let's see, pet? Oh, there you go, little pup pup. Oh, look at this! That's the stuff. So we completed the goal, that's the stuff. We can go ahead and pet Bagel. I wonder how that works. All right, that's the stuff. Pet a dog. We got a foam ham! I think that's a good toy for like them. Uh, I need to dig a hole. What do I do? Dig 10 holes. Getting a busy dirt eater, huh? What's this? Oh, it's the toy box! So here's a little foam ham. So the, the puppers can have like a toy box. And now it looks like there's a mess over here. It's a dirt patch! A little patch of land that's been dug away and cleared by a dog. Bagel, did you make this dirt patch for me? Because this is, <gasps> Bagel just laid an egg! Bagel just laid an egg! Bagel, you're a parrot, Bagel, what? What? Oh my gosh. How do I get the egg in? How do I get the egg in here? All right, collect, okay. Well, looks like you found an unfertilized egg. You can use the breeding simulation to inject these with dog genes. What the heck? The simulation allows you to crossbreed any of your adult dogs and inject the resultant genes into the egg. Afterward, you can hatch this egg using the incubator. Try it out. Wolf, welcome to the Dog Breeder, version 0.6.01. This program is still in development and may contain bugs. Okay, that's amazing. So because this is an unfertilized egg, I think that we'll go ahead and select Randy and then we'll go ahead and put Bagel together and we'll breed these dogs. 
So you can you can breed together even the dogs that are in storage. What is this? Massive litter? What? Generation number one, simulation stability, crossbreed or select final dog. Oh, so this is like what you could end up with from the, the breeding that we just did, I think. So crossbreed dogs. Look at this big guy. Wow, that's a big bubbers. So I guess if you do crossbreed dogs, then you do... And if I bred like these two, dog A and maybe dog B, what happens? So is this just like a simulator for what we could eventually get? Look at how long, we're getting long boy dogs. So how does this work, I wonder? So if I breed those two together, massive litter. Look, we have a lighter pink dog. Interesting. So what if I grab this? I wonder if they get like jumpier. Let's do, let's do maybe these two. Don't worry guys, I'm just as confused as you are too. But I think that this is really interesting. So what if I select, so then is this the dog that's gonna come out of, they're kind of jumpy, there we go. Is this the dog that's gonna be popping out of the egg? Final dog selected, sequencing. How does this work? Rune generation complete. What on earth? <laughs> this is just as wacky as our Love Arcatory series. Um. What is happening? Why am I still totally vibing with this? Pardon? <laughs> this is, is this serious science at work? So that's the crossbreeding of these two dogs. Creates this this egg. Is it gonna give me the pink egg? <laughs> what? How is this like Viva Pinata? And what was that like the the pets? If any of you guys remember the the old desktop game pets, we have a fertilized egg. My jaw's on the ground. Also, there's a little. <gasps> There's a hole, and I think tiny dog. I'm gonna plant some ground ivy in it real quick. Good, there's also edible clumps of dirt that they might eat, and we have some ivy as well. This is getting intense, you guys. So, tiny dug a hole while we were doing all that, and I got a weed mix. Um, and then we have egg novice. Now we have cloud pa wallpaper for doing an egg. I planted a seed, so now, <gasps> outdoor flooring, yay! We match made, so breed a pair of dogs for the first time. So now I have a new dog egg. Massive litter, get a massive litter in the breeding simulation. And now I have a fan for the dogs, if we want it, I suppose. My jaw's on the ground, I don't know what's going on, but this is just weird enough that I am totally excited about it. All right, what about storage, right? Like, oh, you can import, <gasps> you can like import dogs. Oh my gosh, so if you guys bred dogs, I could possibly like get your dogs and like import them in. My jaw is so on the ground. Let's bring out Randy as well. He's high energy and peaceful. Bagel and Tiny is aloof and antagonistic, tends to leave a bad impression, not interested in other dogs, cultivated a mysterious personality. So let's bring out um, Randy because he's peaceful and high energy. Randy, hi! Can I pet you? Hey, buddy! Doing good, doing good. Meanwhile, I'll praise Randy. Um, there we go. Bagels hanging out over here. I can see how the gut genetics would affect them. Bagel looks like he's eating dirt. That's fine. I'm sure that's fine. Let's incubate this egg. And I'm gonna see if this is the pink dog that I was working on or not. Alright, Bagel's doing something over here with a dirt patch. So he seems to be having fun. Oh, this is a capsule. Plastic shell with a prize inside. Where did this come from? Ooh, candy bar wall. Cool. Whoops, sorry, Tiny. I didn't mean to knock you over. No wonder you're so antagonistic. All right, meanwhile, just praise all my little puppies. <gasps> Good boy, Bagel, for digging! Oh, I really want y'all to, like, dig around a little bit more. Nice. And then pop open a capsule. Sweet. Got some flowers. This is so weird and so cool all at the same time. Good job, digging! Make more holes for me to be able to plant things. Sweet! 
I can actually plant more weeds now. Ooh! I got like lupine flowers. Yay! I'm so planting some golden lupines over here. That sounds amazing. Randy, I'm gonna praise you for digging. I'm really pleased that we've got some good little digging dogs and I think they're eating like dirt clumps. I probably want that for their, their genetics, I suppose. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> and we did end up with that pink dog from the genetic breeder. Oh my gosh. Crumpet, oh my gosh, Crumpet is such a cute name. All right, we're gonna go with Crumpet. Y'all, give me some names because I am really tickled with our little dog breeding experiment we have going on over here. I have no idea really what's happening, but that just kind of makes it more fun somehow. Question mark, question mark. And we got a new baby from hatching an egg, so now we have more flowers, I suppose. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm feeling this. I have no idea exactly what we're doing. Good job for digging and making me more spots to plant stuff. Good puppy, good puppy, good puppy, good puppy. Wow. Uh, but I kind of love this because this very much is like our Leparkatory series and I think we're going to carry on and we're going to figure out how we can breed ourselves some really weird dogs. So if you guys could do please leave a like for all of our amazing puppers. It looks like uh, our crumpet is really freaking sweet and Randy's adorable and Bagel's taking a nap. <laughs> And if you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, including a few hundred episodes of our Labarkatory series by now, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!